This is a very simple question that can be done easily just by using the definition of what is the capacitance of a capacitor. Let us look at this question. In the circuit that is shown, here you see that there is a 10 microfarad capacitor. Okay, it is given that VAB is 12 volts. What is VAB? The potential drop from A to B. So, from A to B, the potential drop is given. It is 12 volts. Find the charge on the 10 microfarad capacitor. Whenever a question asks you to find the charge on the capacitor, remember you are always talking about the positive value. Okay. One of the plates will have minus Q, one of the plates will have plus Q. We are talking here about the plus Q. So, what is the formula for the charge on a capacitor? Q equal to CV. So, Q is equal to CV. What is the capacitance value? 10 microfarad. So, you always write micro. Remember, farads is the SI units. So, if it is 10 microfarad, please put 10 micro. You don't have to write the farads because that is SI units. But you must put the micro because this is 10 to the power of minus 6. Okay, that is C into V. V is 12 volts. Volts is SI units. So, I am just going to put 12. And so, I am going to get 120 micro. What is the SI units for charge? Coulombs. So, this will be micro coulombs. So, 120 micro coulombs. You can of course write it as 120 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs. Usually, we don't write it this way. We leave it in micro coulombs. So, the charge on the capacitor Q is 120 into 10 power minus 6 coulombs or 120 micro coulombs. The second part of the question is asking us what is the charge on the capacitor plate connected to B. When you ask what is the charge on the capacitor, you give the positive value. You just say Q on the capacitor is 120 micro coulombs or 120 into 10 power minus 6 coulombs. Now, which plate will be positive? Let's think. The potential drop is this way, right? This is at a higher potential, that is at a lower potential. That's why the potential drop is this way. So that means this must be the positive plate, that must be the negative plate, right? This must be the positive plate, that must be the negative plate. Usually if you mark positive, you don't have to mark negative. So what will be the charge here? The charge here will be plus Q and the charge there will be minus Q, okay? So the question is asking us, what is the charge on the capacitor plate connected to B? Connected to B. That is this plate. And the answer will be minus 120 micro coulomb. So, charge on the plate connected to B is minus 120 micro coulomb. If they asked you what is the charge on plate A connected to A, right? This plate. Then you will say plus 120 micro coulomb, right? Or just 120 micro coulomb. But if they ask you what is the charge on the capacitor, you always give the positive value 120 microcoulomb.